Hi everybody, as we gather for the 4th of July and America's birthday, I thought this would be a nice thing to contemplate as we say our prayers together. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, amen. We pray for our country, that we can find a way to be happy with each other, to live in peace with each other, and to treat each other well, just as Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil amen hail mary full of grace the lord is with thee blessed art thou among women and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death, amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. God, please bless America. Have a wonderful day.
Hi everyone, I hope everyone is safe. This is our presentation for our 4th of July celebration. Independence Day also referred, referred to as the 4th of July or July 4th in the U.S. It is a federal holiday commemorating the adoption of the Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776 by the Continental Congress, declaring that the 13 American colonies regarded themselves as a new nation, the United States of America, and no longer part of the British Empire. The Declaration of Independence is an important part of American democracy because first, it contains the ideals of or goals of our nation. Second, it contains the complaints of the colonists against the British king. Third, it contains the arguments the colonists used to explain why they want to be free of British rule. <clears throat> the 13 colonies. What are the original colonies? The 13 colonies are New Hampshire, Massachusetts, Connecticut, New Island, New York, New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, North Carolina, South Carolina, and Georgia. On June 14, 1777, the Continental Congress passed the first flag. Acts, it said that the flag of the 13 United States be 13 stripes, alternated red and white, that the Union be 13 stars, white in a blue field. Happy birthday, Maryland America! Hi everyone, welcome back to our virtual classroom. Today, I'm going to need a little help brainstorming coming up with an idea. The clients want to send off Scotty with a goodbye message from his Marion Center family. So I've asked three of our beautiful cottage girls to help me come up with something. We've got Gloria, Rosita, and Melissa. And so together we came up with a great idea. Well, we've prepared the message and Gloria's ready to hit play. So sit back and enjoy. This comes with all our love, Scotty. Hi, it's Ms. Carol again, and I'm here with Anna. She's helping me. We're making a flag for the 4th of July celebration. And we have our paper, tissue paper in red, white, and blue, and cotton balls for the white stripes, tissue paper for the red, and cotton balls cut up. 
for the stores on the flag. The scissors were used. Anna's made up the, for the colors on the flag. And I'm going to put some. We're going to start by putting the white cotton balls along the stripes here. And I'm going to put some glue. And she's going to put start with the white stripes. And I'll put some glue here. And she's going to start putting the cotton balls along the this first stripe here. The glue isn't being too helpful here with me. But this will help with our celebration. And we'll get along here. Okay, Anna? Start with the cotton balls along the white stripes. Take your time, he's not a rush. Weather's been so beautiful outside and we're today in air conditioning, so. Just take your time, spread them out, that's a girl. Take your time. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we can always move them down, but we can get another. Saturday. Hopefully, I don't know how much celebration people are going to do, but there we go. We get some more. Take your time, spread it out. You don't have to bunch them up so much. The glue will hold them down. There we go. That's a go. Hi again, here we starting. Anna's been so busy, she put all the white cotton balls where the white stripes throw on the flag. And she's been busy using tissue paper. She's been squishing it up. She's got a few more left if you want to get those done. Squish the rest of the tissue paper up. And then she's going to squish them up and start putting these. Why don't you start putting them on the bottom row first? Okay, she's going to put them on the bottom row. I've already done one row of glue for her. And she can start putting them on the bottom row for her flag. She's been a busy girl here. Busy making these to make her red stripes. And we have plenty of red tissue paper in case she runs out. A lot of glue here. Mm. 
job at me. She gets these seven lines, these seven lines of thread stripes. Then the last step will be when she puts all these little white stars she made into the, the stars over on the other end. She's been a busy girl all morning. Here and Anna's is finishing up her flag. She's putting some more stars on to finish our 50 stars that represent our 50 states. And some we started there in rows of five rows of six stars and four rows of five stars. And she's finishing that. She's done our red stripes and our white stripes. She did that by using white cotton balls for the white stripes. She cut tissue paper, rolled it up to represent our red stripes. And now she's finishing up our stars. She worked very hard doing this, and this flag represents our American flag, which represents the flag of the United States. And our 4th of July, which we all celebrate, is Saturday. There'll be a lot of celebrations as we go. Maybe I can get a couple of these on here, too. I'll take a few over here. And then we have parades on Saturday. People pick not too many picnics around, but they celebrate it. And it's a big celebration for everybody and represents our United States. Oops, that came up on my finger there. And Anna has done a fantastic job here, a fantastic job. And I think we are one more, there we go. And this is our flag that represents our United States. Anna, you did a beautiful job with your flag. And it is with everything that you can use at home, cotton balls, tissue paper, of the colors that represent our country red, white, and blue. And you can all make these at home. Bye. Hello everyone, my Mary and Senna family. Today I have Lamitra and Amanda, and we're gonna do a little 4th of July project. Just a little arts and crafts. So if you wanna do it with us, you're gonna need a small styrofoam cup, some yarn, red, white, and blue, some beads, white, blue, and red, some paint, blue, and red, and some scissors to cut your yarn. You're gonna also need water so you can Rinse off your paintbrush. You're gonna need a nice small paintbrush, but not tiny, just a small one. And you're gonna need a little needle to thread your yarn. So these are the things you're gonna need for us to do our little 4th of July project. We are gonna attempt to make a little wind chime. So we're gonna see how it comes out. Remember, we're not artists. Okay, so we're gonna start with putting dots on our cup. We're starting with the red. So the girls are gonna dot it all over with red. Just a dot here, a dot there, all over, Amitra, all over. Space them out because you're going to fill it in with some blue. There 
Let me help Amanda a little more. She looks like she's scared to touch the paint. So I got to help her. <laughs> Good job, Amanda. On the other side. Come on, Amanda. More dots. More dots. You see, Anita? More dots. There you go. There you go. Okay, Anita, yours is covered in red. Mm -hmm. So you're going to rinse that brush off. We're waiting on Amanda. Okay, wait for Amanda to rinse her brush. Want to dry it a little. You want to get that red out really good, ladies. And all our people at home. So now, we're going to put a little blue in there. You don't have to worry about the white because the cup is white. Right? Mm-hmm. Put some blue dots all around. Not on top of the red, go around. And see, Amanda, that's good. It's spaced out. You girls have done good with that. Let's see, Anitra, did you get that side? Okay. Really good. So now, guys, what we're going to do is let this dry a little bit. Sit it down. We're going to let the paint dry a little bit. And then we're going to come back with the next step that we're going to do. Okay. Hello everyone, we're back with the second step. So what you're gonna do is take your yarn and cut out some strings. You can cut out as many strings as you want to go around, but we're gonna do at least four a piece for Anitra and Amanda. And then you're gonna take your needle and you're gonna thread the yarn so you can get ready to put your beads in. You're gonna go from the inside of the cup to the outside. Now pull it through. If I can get it through. Make sure guys, before you, when you thread it, you put a knot on the end of the string so it won't come all the way through. And it's gonna stop there. Okay, so once you have that string all the way through, you can take the needle <laughs> off the end and you choose which color you want to go with first, which bead. So we're going to try red first. You take the red and you're going to string it in there. I can get it through. So, Anitra going to be able to do the next one. We're going to make a little knot. So it holds the bead. You might need to do maybe, you can hold it. You might need to do like maybe two or three knots according to how big your bead is. Because you want that bead to stay there. So you got the red one. So I need to see if you can get the white one on. According to how big the bead is, it's a little hard to get the string in. Mm -hmm. 
So you have to sometimes twist the end. Mm. And slide it in there. Is it going, Anitra? Mm. You need a little help? Mm. I got you. I'm going to help you. <laughs> Did we get it? It's a little difficult. There it is. So according to how far you want that second bead to be, that's where you will make your knot. Hold a cup up. So we're going to try to make it here. We're going to make a knot. I'm going to try two knots to make sure it stays there. Hold it up, Anitra. Hold it up. See? You have red, white, and we need a blue. So, Anitra, hold that bead. Let's see if we can get this one in a little more easier than the white one. Hold it down. Yay, we got it, Anitra. Mm. Now we're going to tie our last knot. We're going to try to make this one three. What do you think, Anitra? Yeah. Hold it. Oh, we didn't make it alive, Anitra. Uh -oh. It's okay. We'll try another knot to add another one. <clears throat> Let's see. Did it work? Let's hold it up. We have red, white, and blue. So guys, you can put strings around however many you want, and you can change the color to whatever color you want, so it can go around and around. Okay, so we will come back with the whole finished project. I hope you're doing the same thing. Hello everyone, our Mary Center family. As you can see, my girls have finished with their beads. And now I'm going to help them with the last part. They both chose what color strings that they wanted to put in the middle. So I'm going to start with Anitra. Make sure you have your needle. And if you like me with the yarn, probably have to put a little tape on the end to get through the needle. And it might help if you need glasses, you wear your glasses. <laughs> so pull the yarn a little bit. Enough to have an extra on there. And we're going to go in the middle of the cup, guys. Got to make sure you're in the middle. Push the needle up through the cup and pull it up. Pull it all the way up. But at the end, make sure on the longer string, make sure you have a knot. So that it don't come all the way through. And we pull it. And we're going to tie it so we can have a loop at the top. So whenever you want to hang it, you can hang it wherever you want.
So I'm tying it for Anitra so I can get it real tight. Now Anitra, hold it up. That's Anitra's. We're going to try it with Amanda's. Remember to thread your needle. <coughs> Can do your knot on the end. Yeah, let me try. Keep it, you can hold it up some so they can see. Make sure you have a good knot on the end because it keeps it from going through the cup. So I'm going to take Amanda's on. Find the middle of the cup. If I can get the middle for her. <laughs> it's close. Pull it up. Then take it off. We're gonna tie a little knot so she can hang hers wherever she wanna hang hers. And I'm doing it for her so I can do it nice and tight for her. Right, Amanda? Yes. Now Amanda have hers. And it's all for the 4th of July decorations. We have red, white, and blue. So if you tried it at home, we hope yours came out the same or better or close to it. And you can hang it on your porch or wherever you want to hang it just to make the wind blow it and listen to the bees clap. So thank you for doing our little art our little 4th of July art. Stay Bye. safe. Have a nice 4th of July Bye. weekend. Bye everyone. Bye.
you sit, um, Shanice? Let her sit down. Hi Marion Center family and friends. My video today is Patriot Songs for Foot of July. I hope you guys enjoyed while we continue our singing.